I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a dry wet knob for an effect or an effect chain that does not have a dry wet knob native to it. First thing you do is load a blank audio effect rack and then you create some chains. The first chain can be called dry and the second chain can be called wet or whatever you like and you can also do this for multiple chains if you set the chain correctly. So put the effects into the wet chain, the chain selector. So what you have to do is extend the chain of the dry and the wet knob and if you are going to use more than one wet chain like multiple effect chains that you're going to cycle through uh, like a dry wet knob that goes through five different kinds of effects um, well this is just a dry wet knob just a simple one so you take your oops wrong thing take that over here then take this one over here and this means that the it's just like a classic dry wet knob in Ableton you get full level up to 50 percent of the dry and you get full level at 50 percent of the wet and the dry goes to zero at 100 percent next step is to select the chain selector, map it to a macro, you can hide that, and now play this and dry wet it. works. There you go.